Hey friends, it's Ruben with Hi-Fi MIDI. Thanks for joining me for this review of Divisimate Micro, a real-time MIDI Divisi engine. Now, what is it and what does it do? Divisimate Micro is a MIDI modifying software that takes chords and splits them into different MIDI ports. So who is this for? Before I answer that question, I'm going to talk about a little problem that I face or many musicians face when they're producing using virtual instruments. Here I'm using Bohemian Violin by Verharmonic, which is an incredible library, by the way. This is a monophonic instrument. It sounds beautiful. Very inspiring. Now, this instrument is monophonic. So if I play two notes at the same time, it's going to cut one of them off. Okay, so in that case, I'm going to add another one. This is the violin too. Now when I do this, and I try playing a split chord, it does the same thing. It's basically going to layer both of those instruments, play one note at a time. So now you hear two instruments. So it's still cutting them off. Now this problem gets bigger as you add more instruments to your track. All it's doing is layering them. So you can't really work that way. Now this is going to save me time instead of playing each part separately and trying to figure out voicing, harmonies, all that. I'm going to play it all at once through the Divisimate Micro software. It will take up to four notes in a chord and split them in different ways. It depends on your settings. I'm going to show you how easy it is to connect Divisimate Micro to each of these tracks. So Bohemian Violin 1 is going to be port 1. So I'm going to go here to my routing, scroll down to Core MIDI, and then select Divisimate Port 1. Then Violin 2 is going to go to Port 2. Very simple. Viola is going to go to Port 3, and Bohemian Cello is going to go to Port 4. Now you can set this up in different ways, but this is the most logical to my brain. So now I record enable all of these. And then, on the Divisimate Micro track, I can start playing. And Divisimate splits those different notes onto each track. Now, there's different ways to prioritize notes. For example, if I choose Fill Voices, this is best for chords. So I'm going to show you a little example when I'm recording exactly what it's doing. Now, th this is not going to come out perfect in the sound, but it's more of a harmony tool. So if I go to the Divisimate Micro MIDI region, you're going to see that all of those notes that I played in the chords are there. However, when I go to each track, you have individual notes. So I'm going to go ahead and delete these extra notes that kind of carried over. So this is supposed to minimize your work time and it's supposed to increase workflow. And then I can play that back. So later on, if I needed to edit something like this, I can just make these notes come together. And it makes editing a lot easier. Now you can make Divisimate behave in different ways. Let's say I go to top down. This is going to prioritize the top note. So if I wanted to play a melody on the, the very high harmony, I can have the bottom notes play the chord and the top note is going to be 
little more independent. Now, there are some little issues that arise here and there as far as note cutoffs. And it's important to make sure that you have it set it up set up in a way where key switches for those instruments are not going to cause any issues. So the other option is bottom up, and this is going to be for the low voices. Let's say you have a cello line, cello melody. The top notes are going to play the chords and the bottom notes are going to be prioritized. So that's a really cool feature right there. But if you want to go even further, you can select low. And this is going to allow you to create a, an individual section for the low voice where it's not going to interfere with the other voices. So what I do is select the cross point on this little matrix. And that's going to connect low to port 4, which is the cello. I'm going to go ahead and disable this one right here. Now I can go to the bottom and drag this slider to a point where I want the top range of the instrument to be. Let's go ahead and set it to, to E3. Now my cello voice is going to be assigned to this range right here. So up here on the top I can play the chords. So if one of the other notes accidentally gets into that range, it's going to get cut off. Now I want my cello to be a little higher, so I want to get access to the upper range. So I'm going to go here to the mods, click on it, and I'm going to use the transposer tool. I can transpose it by step, or I can transpose it by octaves, and you have many octaves that you can use. But here I'm just going to do one octave. And now my cello is one octave higher. So I want these to fill in the voices instead of being bottom up. It's going to behave a lot better for chords. The next feature is Melody. Melody is going to assign an isolated range to the top part of the keyboard. And in this case, I want the Violin 1 and Violin 2 to have the Melody. So I'm going to click these off, and I'm going to assign 1 and 2 to Melody. Now it's going to play both of them at the same time on the same register. Let me go ahead and lower this. Now, I want the top violin to be an octave higher, or maybe the bottom violin to be an octave lower. So I can go to Transposer, and then click down an octave. So now, as you can see, the viola is in this middle section right here, but whenever I started playing on it, 
only the viola played. So you have to set your ranges the way you, that you want. You can use different presets depending on the behavior that you want Divisimate to have. But as you can see, there are so many creative options here that will give you a more realistic performance playback and a much more natural voicing in your compositions. This is a great tool and it's only $49. I honestly like this version more than the full version because when I'm working, I want something quick. I don't like a huge setup time. I like something that's going to give me quick results for what I'm looking for. This is going to save you time and it's using a very small footprint on your computer. There is a little bit of latency, so you can go to settings and adjust the analysis time and you can adjust the note humanization and note timing to give a more human playback. Well, friends, I hope you enjoyed this review of Divisimate Micro. I'll leave the product link in the description. This is not an affiliate link. I'm not making any money off of this just by views. But if you enjoyed this, please leave a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell to stay up to date with my latest videos. Also, leave a comment below. Tell me what you thought about this. And please visit hi-fi-midi.com for MIDI programming tutorials. Thanks for watching. Take care.